Hello, folks. This is the Roman Casual back again, this time with Rogue Legacy 2. I uh, haven't played this one before, so let's jump right in. The time has passed and they have not returned. The estuaries have decayed. The kingdom demands deliverance. Sign the contract. And your children shall succeed you. Once you cast off, there is no turning back. Swing sword. A to jump. Barrels are breakable. Right bumper. We've managed to cross the waters undiscovered. A few guards patrolled the west walls, but we were able to remove them without raising a signal. At sundown, we'll start ascending the wall. Provision should be waiting for us at the top. And unless there's something up there. Doesn't look like it. He didn't do me any damage. In the air. Oh, down. Like that. Ah! I got up there, then I fell down. Diving bell cables needed to pass the interior ramparts were waiting for us, just like Z promised. But our scouts underestimated how much we'd need. We're short a few hundred feet. Looks like we'll have to get creative. Clearly I'm not supposed to die yet because I'm not actually taking damage from things. Spin kick enemies to gain height. Looks like we've underestimated Z's charisma again. Below me I can see all the misfits that have joined our ranks. When did so many rebels join? From here it seems like an endless sea. This was supposed to be a suicide mission, meant for only a few. She's unknowingly rallied these souls to a lost cause, and my sins keep growing. Anything up 
there. Nope. This is it, the end of the line. Below us there is a trick wall which can only be opened with magic. Z said it should lead us straight to the estuaries. Tonight we live and die with the crimes I've committed. B to spend mana and cast your spell. Was open only when struck by a spell or a talent. So that's a teleporter. That's something we can't use yet. Is that an enemy? It certainly appears to be an enemy. Attacked by snowmen. It must be Christmas time. Alright, so there's a way down. Let's go over. Oops. Thought I was far enough over. I was not, in point of fact, far enough over. Looks like there's a way up and a way over. Very chest. Lose no health. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Future successors bargain. Depart this world to increase your current gold by 35%. One life lost for one's lineage gain. Ignore your humanity and there's no better bargain. Cost 25 resolve. A primer on relics and resolve. Relics are artifacts that grant powerful abilities to the user, but require resolve to wield. Those with a strong resolve have shown no physical or mental defects in combat. Conversely, those with weak resolve have displayed signs of ailing health. There also seems to be a correlation between the amount of armor a soldier wore and their resolve. Those who wore more armor were less confident in their abilities and thus had weaker wills and resolves. Perhaps we should send our soldiers out naked. We are about to die anyway. Your 
heirs shall inherit your fortune. Sir Kenny was slain by a mysterious force. Alright, so we can have Sir Kenny the second. Sir Marshall. Let's see what's here we got. Magma Mass. FMF fan. Super fluid. This one gets White Star and an Antique Rage Tinnager. This one gets a Magic 8 Ball. OCD and Freon's Reward. Sure. Healthy populace is a working populace. Traits now give gold modifiers. Alright, so we can... Welcome all. Your kingdom has granted its people access to healthcare services and amenities. Nice. This one seems to be locked. At least I'm assuming that's what that 12 lock stands for. You can unlock archers. No, no, I don't want to switch to the ranger class just yet. What else can we do? We can unlock the enchantress. Or we can unlock the blacksmith. I think we can actually do both. The other blueprints for him and you'll strain his tired bones in order to craft you the most exquisite armaments ever seen. Do I want the Enchantress, or do I want to raise Vitality? I think for right now, I want to raise Vitality, just because I'm not very good at some of this stuff, right? Oh, I don't have enough money to do it again. Alright, so I guess we exit the skill tree. Major changes to game balance in the Dragon's Vow update. Alright, I'm not going to read this. Thanks for help building my black shop, kid. Ain't got a lot to my name, but your investment in this here blacksmithery will pay off. Can't make much because I ain't got any blueprints, but if you and me work together, boy, we can make some unimaginable things. And I mean that literally. Got me some of that aphantasia. Can't see no pictures up in this noggin. That's why I need those blueprints. It's a win-win. I win because I get free blueprints, and I win again because I get a customer. All right, so for right now, we've got nothing. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. There we go. Magic 8 ball. After one bounce damage is octupled. After two bounces it will skill crit. OCD. Obsessive crushing disorder. Breaking things restores mana. Opening chests restores health.
Throne room doors are currently sealed. Alright, but I was trying to talk to this guy. So you're next in line to sign the contract. Everything in the name of duty, I presume. Never stop to think of what you might be losing. Well, if you're looking for the treasure, you'll have to find the king's children first. Can't get through those doors otherwise. I've tried. I missed. <laughs> I'm surprised that worked as well as it did for as long as it did. Let's go this way. Okay, a thousand whispers, but can't make out a voice. Okay. Died trying to get a chest. Ranger. Shockwave. Sure. I'll try a Ranger. See how that goes. Unlock the Enchantress. Don't let her height fool you. She's smaller than she looks. Find runes for her and she can imbue you with magical power. Gain the ability to siphon life from your foes. Redirect damage and improve your magical repertoire. And we've only got 80 gold left, which isn't enough for anything. Let's see, shockwave. Hold to aim goes through walls. Not bad. Ivy canopy. Like Robin Hood, you shoot people for profit. <laughs> All right.
She wants runes, which we don't have. He seems happy. Guess we're headed up. Not dodge fast enough. Is there something over here? No. Restore health and mana. Take damage but increase max hit points. Alright, let's see what's up here. Ouch. I don't think I like Ranger. I just don't like having to deal with aiming the bow. So no Ranger. 
gravity beam and muscle weakness. Or searing shot, no trades. We'll go with this one. Let's see. We could unlock Lady Quinn to teach us some fearsome moves. We could gain permanent bonuses for dying. Unlocks mastery rank. We can't unlock Valkyries. Oh, we're only five points away. We can unlock mages. Let's unlock a mastery rank. The sage totem is a repository for knowledge. Every warrior is bound to him, allowing their wisdom to pass on to others. You will now gain mastery XP with each class. Gain enough XP to rank up and earn permanent stat bonuses. Okay. Now we don't have enough for anything else. Enemies barely flinch when hit. Behold! I am the Sage Totem, and you are now bound to me. All of your knowledge will be housed within my spirit wood. To gain mastery in one profession is to gain an advantage in all. What we are in knowledge makes us strong. That is all. Why are you still here? My monologue is over. I am bad at idle banter. Mondays, am I right? Off we go. I'm sorry. I meant to pick that up. I was right. Treasure. Let's go up. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, we get mana for hitting things, though. is old but carefully preserved. Jay, the rumors are true. The golden doors are for real and I found them. The doors will only open when all the estuaries have been gathered together. I know it sounds crazy, but I have a plan to save everyone, but I can't do it myself. I need your help. Some people I can trust. was fun.
We have one health left. You've got to be kidding me. Well, we made it a lot further that time. Don't forget to block. Wait, there's a block button? I'm not doing ranger again. Flame barrier or magma mass. Let's go with magma mass. I want to unlock Valkyries. Attack from afar, up high or down low. With their long range and ability to attack in any direction, Valkyries are considered the cheesiest of soldiers. Yes. We have enough to give ourselves some more health. And also to unlock Wizard. Or Mage, excuse me. Masters of Magic. Mages have tapped into the primal elements that govern this world. But there are more rules than just harnessing that power to be considered a mage. Firstly, one must always tote the sickest of beards. And that's it. No more rules. I don't want to be a mage. Okay. I did not mean to do that. We'll give this one more go. Since we unlocked the Valkyrie class. Black roots keep growing. They're everywhere now. The guards continuously cut them down, but they keep growing back. I swear the land is reacting to our pain. The more people we lose, the thicker the black roots seem to grow. Sorry I've been missing our meetings at the Golden Doors. The estuaries demand the impossible. They raise our work hours and they tax us, tax us incessantly, and when people complain, they are arrested. So many friends are gone, Jay. You have no idea what it's like over here. The kingdom has become a powder keg, just waiting to explode, and it's our job to light it. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance, Jay. We can do something. We can save people. See. Well, 
I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to get up there. So we shall go this way instead. Seems determined to give me more mana. <sighs> Did not do as well that time. I'm going to pick the vampire because I want to know what it has to say about what a vampire gets. Gain 20% of your weapon damage is health, but you take 150% more damage. Ow! That's going to be it for now. I hope that you've enjoyed this video looking at Rogue Legacy 2. And I'll see you next time.